Just to make things clear, this technology is not reading thoughts. It's not mind-reading technology. We are focusing at very clear signals that appear in our brain just before movements and also at signals that appear when we are in disaccord with certain events. So these ones, they are not influenced by the situation of the driver. Here at CS, we brought a simulation of what we could do with our brain-to-vehicle technology. We have live streaming of real-time brain activity. We have an evaluation of this activity while driving a simple driving simulator. And based on that, our system would be able to say how the future uh, IMX would be supporting the driver when wearing an EEG cap like the one that we have developed. Myself, I really like driving because when I was 18, I experienced the Fair Ladies Act. I always thought that driving pleasure is a value that us as humans, we have to perpetuate. So even in a world when we will have very smart AIs that can drive for us, my idea was to take advantage of this technology to perpetuate driving pleasure rather than replacing the driver himself.